The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. Just a question, though, is this drug, <clears throat> is, it, um, is it a combination of molecules or uh, like serum? Or what, what form does it take this drug? Uh, the drugs that were not pipeline were developed at UCI uh, by the, the, the head of the department uh, of regenerative medicine there, Dr. Uh, Max Plikas. And he's published, uh, he's been on, on in the public eye before. And he started a, a study in which he took hairy moles. And he said, wait a minute, there's something strange about these moles. They shouldn't have full terminal normal hairs on them and they do. And, and we all see people who have big moles and hairs growing out of it. So he then went after the hairy mole to try to find out what was inducing the hair. And he uh, developed a technique that's been very well respected now in the published literature uh, to identify drugs. He isolated 25 key molecules that do it. And one by one, he went through the molecules and prioritized them one, two, three, four. And this is how he got the, the, the molecules. Each of the drugs, to answer your question, are single drugs. Uh, the first drug in our line is, happens to be a drug that's been approved already by the FDA for other purposes. So we already have a safety factor. So this drug will not have to go through a very uh, yeah, unusual uh, long cycle Sorry. of the FDA mm -hmm. once we get it. If, it, if it's shown to be effective on humans. The second drug in the pipeline might be not the same effect. The third drug in the pipeline may have a similar result because it's also been approved in other applications. So uh, so two of the three drugs have had prior approval uh, on human use. So uh, we're very excited about this. And I think there's a lot of optimism, certainly from the investors that have put their money in it to see to whether this will turn out to be the next drug. I don't think this will stop hair transplants. I don't think this will be the solution for all bald people to come and get their medicine. Uh, the medicine will be, I think, uh, eventually made into some type of cream that will be applied to the skin. Right now, we require injections. I don't think people want regular injections at all. So the injection is the first phase of the identification of the drug, and that will be the phase that we're going through this next year.